Hello YouTube, welcome to Eat Your Cooks. Today I will show you how to fix a problem of random silence or muting of your tracks in FL Studio. The first thing is I'm not new to Fruity Loot. I was experiencing random silence of my tracks. I didn't know why it happened, but I'm sure that it was not intentionally uh, muted. So why why it happened? Firstly, let me show you the problem. Uh, there is here I, I have a track. Uh, this is a demo. It's okay now. Now, after the third bar, there is no sound at all. So why does it happen? So so during enabling record. There are options that automatically pop up. Uh, if you choose audio into playlist uh, or MIDI, there is no problem at all in this area. But if you choose not send automation, the problem is it will record everything that you touched in your uh, DAW. So, for example, after recording, you may just forgot to disarm this uh, record button and you play these things you don't know whether it's recording or not and you you, you tweak uh, it will result like this another area is if you uh, tweak maybe in changing presets or in designing your own sound you may just uh, be interested to know or to hear the sound of your vst and uh, you, are, you are in play mode and you just click this thing like this to make a difference, maybe you may click something here also in the area of the VST result an intentional recording of the knob parameters here in your draw. The third area of the problem is when you play your VST, I mean your sound here in the track and uh, you forgot to disarm your knob and you just click this channel volume like this and it will result again a silence area. So the problem is multifaceted, so you need to know where the problem is found. So the solution is, the first solution is you need to go to your browser here, and then go to the current project, then uh, from this list of uh, things, go to the initial controls. In the initial controls, there are uh, currently initiated nav controls or parameters. You need to choose the parameters you are not intentionally interested on this and accidentally accidentally added. So for example, I don't need to I didn't mean to add this master volume of the serum. So I need to delete this event because I have touched it unintentionally. But if if it's important, don't don't touch it because you know it, you added it by default. You know, you know, you know how you added it. So you just need to delete only the parameters you don't know in these initial controls. So still, when I play this, still there is no sound in some area around the, uh, the third bar, there is no sound at all. The main problem maybe is in the channel volume is still off. So if I just turn back to the factory preset, seems like there is a sound. But somewhere, still there is no sound. Another area is in the mixer. In the mixer, let me play it. Uh, you need to look certain moment of the mixer knobs here. So if you turn it back uh, and reset to the original default status, still you cannot solve this thing. There is no sound here. So one solution here to solve the mixer uh, issue is you need to re-record it back to the factory status. So just play it and record. So at least I uh, controlled the mixer now. So if I play it still, now it's in, in this area only because I have re-recorded it the automation of the mixer knob. Still, there is no sound here. Why? 
where there is no sound. So I need to go to go to again to the piano roll. I need to choose some of the parameters related to volume. Let me go. I don't need these same things. I can, you need to go to channel volume. Channel volume has already. Okay. You know, the channel volume is still here activated. So I need to make a list of the factory level. Still another problem is there appearing. So we will see that too. Then after, after correcting this thing, I need to go to another channel volume for you see this one is okay. What about the VST one? The master volume of the VST need to be corrected again. I think it, it's, sol it's solving, I think. The third thing I solved is the master volume of the serum by itself. Because as you have remember, I have manipulated this, this, this knob uh, while the recording knob was uh, active. So I need to deactivate this record knob, of course. This one is okay. So there must not be an issue. It's, it's solved now. There is no issue. So, uh, instead of uh, just deleting the muted track and rewriting the or re recording everything from the scratch, you better to fix the, the, the reason why it has been silenced and muted. So I think that is all about the, the solution for this problem. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see these types of tutorials in the future, please subscribe to my uh, channel and uh, smash that like button below.